for me is the vulnerability. Since I'm short and people think I'm a, young, a lot younger than I am. I try to be and I hope we are included in conversations now rather than still being seen as not as equal. I found that there's a 50% chance if I have a kid of my kid having the same disability as me, which, which makes it um, more challenging for me to have kids. Being accepted as a woman who has wants and needs and aims as any other woman. Because I know the woman with the disability can get abuses as well. <laughs> Not blatant sexism, but comments around my ability to be a woman sometimes. Except we are women first despite our disability or their perception of us. Try to understand what the person has been through as it may be hard to talk about. Not focusing on stereotypes of women, varied contributions of everyone, um, regardless of a person's gender identity, and focus on people as fellow human beings. You know, it's a double-edged sword for them, because they're people with disability, and they're also women. I mean, it's taken uh, many organisations hundreds of years to come to the sudden realisation that women are equal. Gender will not define your capability, nor will disability. What will define you as a person is the positive impact that you can have on others. Because I wouldn't want to make any assumptions um on their behalf, so just like I wouldn't want anybody to make assumptions on my behalf, I wouldn't do it for somebody else. I'd be open to discussions, I'd be open to going into that forum of, you know, what what works best or what, you know, I guess women with disability um, want, I guess.